What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Landaris. You already know. You see it. You see it. LNL Line Service, Kansas City, Missouri, Blue Springs area. Uh huh. Back at you. Hey, guys. Uh, it's always something. So I told you I was getting some work done to Black Beauty. And Black Beauty needed um, a Pittman arm and an Eidolon arm replaced. And I think they both ran about, you know, close to 200 bucks for both parts or whatever. Then I had to pay to get it put on and all that. That was another 350 bucks to get under there to get all that taken care of. The Pittman arm and the Pittman arm and the idling arm. One of the rotors were bad. I had all the brakes replaced, brake pads replaced. One of the rotors was bad. That was another. Uh, so. 200 for those parts and then another 300 so that's five so what are we up to now so we got five plus another five so we probably up to about a thousand or something like that on parts and labor now i come to find out even though i had that on there now i have to get an alignment on it uh, got to get alignment on it now. And I come to find out out here today, I'm walking past the wheel. I mean, but so I test drove it and it's still kind of going back and forth like this, you know, like, like not as bad as it was, but you can still got, it's still not smooth. So I went around and like looked at the tires, checked the tires and I came to this one. What do you guys see? I'm going to see if you guys can see it. Let's look. I'll let you guys look at the tire. Nice and round on that side. Here it comes. Here it comes. Ooh. You see that dip? You see that dip? Look at it. It's a dip. It's fat up here. Let me bring it back out. It's fat up here, and then it goes in. So I think that... um. There's a belt that's in here, kind of, you know, that goes all the way around. I guess it failed. And that's why I got that kind of wobbly type of motion that's going back and forth like this because this wheel, this tire is jacked up. So I got to look to see about, because I put a extra insurance on here for these tires because I knew these tires would be like expensive to replace and all that so I'm gonna check it out see but you can see the divot in that and that's what's making me ride all jacked up and it's kind of rocky so now since I was gonna get a uh, alignment I know probably nowadays they align all four wheels so they're not gonna be able to align this with this tire like this they're not going to be able to align it. So now I got to go out and get new tires. And I'm thinking about just replacing all of them. I'm thinking about just go ahead, replace all of them. And if not, I'll at least replace, replace, uh, get two new, two new ones to put them on the front and then take the back ones and or ask them which ones are better treads this one's shot that one's shot now i had these tires rotated already but i think the ones in the front are the the better ones so i might throw these front ones on these front ones back to the back And then, big ass geese, throw 
the front ones back to the back and put new front ones on there. The brand new ones on the front or just replace the whole thing all the way around. <sighs> but I know that's going to be a pretty penny. So I got to see about that little insurance policy thing that I had on these tires because that's not going to that's not going to fly as you can see. And it's always something. Always something. And that's you just you just spend money, 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 money. But you got to have this money to do this when the time comes or you out of luck. You just out of luck. Your truck is down. You can't make the money. Stuff like that. Now, if my work truck goes down, I would have to have the truck to pull the trailer back here to keep the keep it going until I get this fixed. But that's what I'm saying. You got to have multiple equipment, multiple trucks, just to just to stay on top of your business. So tomorrow, I got to go do my yards and catch up because today was a rained out day again. And I got to do catch up. So, yeah, guys, I just wanted to show you that. It's always something. Well, you guys let me know if you guys ever had a problem like this. That mug just dips right in there. So like I said, I had my mechanic guy come through, take a look at it. And he said that there's a belt that goes in here. It failed. So this is, it's failed. So I guess the belt, the lining in the inside is failed. So I don't know. Mechanic talk. So I don't know. All right, guys, just wanted to share that with you. Man, it's always something. But I got to get I gotta get her back, get her back up and, and running right and things like that. So uh, it's always something. All right, guys, like, subscribe, leave your comments, hit that bell button, do whatever you got to do, but you better do it. All right, guys, I'm out. Peace.